What is going on everybody? It is Matthew Snows, the Gold Crease Guardian, excited to bring you another Friday Night Polar Bears matchup. Before we get to the game, I just want to remind everyone, if you have not already, please head down below, hit that subscribe button. I'm pushing towards a thousand subscribers and everyone helps. I really appreciate the support. And while you're down there, you can check out the link for the Gold Crease Guardian merch and the Backstop Hockey Shop. Let's get to the video. Here we go, Polar Bears and Flyers. Um, have not played this team before, with even with the Juice Box, because they were in a different league. So looking forward to seeing them for the first time, and we'll see how this one goes. Nice little glove save to start off. Just always good to make a nice clean save as your first save of the game. And I almost killed the ref. My bad. Another really nice glove stop. A couple of them early on here, just getting that puck, feeling it really nicely, catching it in the pocket. Love that kind of stuff because it makes you feel like you're a part of the game early on. And as someone who thrives off of having a bit of a rhythm, it definitely helps. I get a little wandery on that one. Um, he came through the middle and I expected him to shoot probably twice before he actually did. Just the way that he was kind of going for that puck. So, you know, I'm glad I stayed with it, but it was a bit of a weird one. I'll take that all day long. Icing, not bad. Um, I wasn't sure if my defenseman was actually going to win the race or if it was going to be a weird breakaway. So I just decided to go for it and ended up beating it out, so it's hard to complain. Just, you know, teammates gotta give me crap for the icing call, I guess. That puck, so that puck bounced right over his stick, and as soon as he got the puck, he wanted it back to show that he could do it. Worked out except for the fact that, you know, he was like one on three, but, Whatever works. Another goal. That's good. Like that. <laughs> you know, it's funny because when I look back at this video, we had the majority of the possession even early in this game. But uh, three shots at this point in the game kind of surprised me. I wasn't really, I thought we would have had a lot more by now. This is a good stop. I beat it on my feet. He goes against the grain, got my elbow on it. That's a tough stop. Um, very happy to have beat it on my feet as well. That's that's always really good. And uh, really nice goal there too, just feeding the back door. Nice little tap in. Um, through one, three nothing lead. That's a really good start for us. Um, you know, nothing too crazy going on here. We like what we see. Close on that one. I hate it when I direct a blocker save right off my defenseman. That's always a pain. This is more of a pain though. Um, he comes through, he drives. I thought I was gonna get this one. As I went to slide, my knee kind of slid a little bit off the top of the knee block and I got a little bit off balance. I didn't quite get my stick strong enough and I did not seal the five hole at all. So that's a bad one. This one's not as bad. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good move and just tucks it up in the in the upper corner. I was maybe a little bit behind on it, you can see there. There was a little bit of an extra move with my feet before I went back on that slide, but he still made a really nice um, backhander up into that corner, so I'm not sure I'm gonna stop that too often. 
uh, that one's just tough mostly because it happened right after the first one and now all of a sudden it's a one goal game in a game where uh, I haven't seen a ton of action and it feels like we're really dominating them. Good bounce back save here on that little kind of breakaway. One-handed back against the grain. Um, that's that's a pretty good way to score a goal, I guess. One more breakaway. Got got that one with the toe. If you could do the Forsberg, you got to be a little bit more convincing than that. Just a, just a little bit. Oh. Um, that is not kind of where I expected that rebound to go. Realistically, got to get my stick on that. That's, you know, not really a good thing to do there. Just let it hit my pad. But um, didn't really expect that rebound to get picked off so quick. And you could tell it kind of caught me off guard. Got lucky you missed the net. So that right there is going to be the extent of their production on this power play. And... Yeah, we spent about a minute and 15 seconds of their power play controlling the puck in their zone. This is just some of it because I didn't want to show all of it in in this video just because it's all this. It's all cycling, but holy crap, we spent a ton of time on the penalty kill in their zone controlling the puck. It was, it was quite the display. And it's always a good sign when I go to the net camera at that end, at the end, which means my other camera stopped working again. I, I honestly do not know what's going on. I am trying. Um, I can't tell if it's batteries or whatever, but you know, camera issues all the time. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, we're up five to two through two. I mean, this is, this is a pretty good game for us. It's really hard to argue with how this is turning out right now. I would like to be busier, but you know, that's that's a whole other thing. I just like to be busy. That's kind of a big deal for me. Whoop! Not bad, nice little move there. Just use the body to control the puck. Nothing wrong with that. And snap it up for the breakout. You can also see in there, you see the goalie guru on my stick. Still doing a bit of testing with that. The one thing that I am finding with that is I love to have the, uh, the rounded shoulder on my stick. It just feels better. And it's not there on this one. So got to get used to that a little bit more. Not my best goal. Um, gets the puck right in the middle. You can see the traffic kind of crossing as he goes to shoot this puck. So my eyes are just completely taken away. Um, I just tried to get big. That's really all I felt I could do in that situation. I might have been able to find a sight lane there, but it's tough because I was moving over a little bit and that shot comes right through the screen. So not ideal. Also not ideal to miss catching that puck but oh well um yeah so just not thrilled with that goal but in reality there's nothing i'm really gonna do unless i find a sight line somehow at this point i'm just trying to play the puck to uh get more involved in the game because it's <laughs> It's been a game where not a lot of action on my end, and we're just gonna keep laying the shots on on their end. Uh, as this game kind of winds down, we had a lot of possession, a lot of zone time in this one, and I always find these ones to be hard. So, you know, always, always an interesting kind of test for me in a situation like this.
another attempted force break. We're gonna win it both for both teams here. Neither of them worked, but they tried. We'll play that one out. There's no need to hold on to that. Same down there. Just try and keep the clock moving at this point in the game, and that'll do it. Really, really solid victory. Very nice. Well, there you go. Five to three victory over the Flyers. I was, you know, good enough. Um, three goals against, point one two goals saved in that one. So not much to write home about. I did what I was supposed to do. Probably could have made a save or two more um, based on the goals that I gave up. But it is what it is. It's a Friday night. We got the win. And we moved to 2-0 in the league. So hopefully we can continue that pattern. We're on pace for 22-0. You know, so that's pretty good right now. Um, gotta love it. Next game up on the channel will actually be the game immediately following this in the night. Um, played back-to-backs on this night. So gonna have some extra content from the Livonia League coming for the next one. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see everybody in the next video.